seen in a really long time and shown you guys like the products that I use, how I do certain things, and I feel like I've gotten requested this a lot the last like year or two. First, we are gonna start off with skin prep. So clearly, I'm like straight out of the shower. So I'm gonna show you guys what I do with my skin pre-makeup and everything that I use. As I get older, I am starting to notice certain things in my face changing. I wanna take skincare a little more seriously, so I really have been trying to be better. And while I think Botox is like a good idea for a lot of people, I'm just a little scared of it right now, and I don't feel like I wanna add any kind of volume to my face. I don't think that it needs it, so I kinda steer away from Botox. That's why products like this really interest me, because it's not like injecting anything into your skin, it's not cosmetic surgery, it's not anything like that. This is the Amiro R1 Pro Facial Radio Frequency Device, and that's a mouthful. So this is basically really good for like skin tightening, anti-aging. I've been using this a few times a week, I would say max two times, because I want to be very careful with my skin. My skin can be very sensitive at times, so it basically uses heat to rejuvenate your skin, which kind of tricks your skin into thinking that it's injured, sending collagen flowing to that era, thus putting more collagen in the area, which then the more collagen in the skin helps diminish fine lines and wrinkles. Boosting the collagen in your skin enhances skin elasticity, takes away puffiness, and boosts cell regeneration. It's super easy to use, and I do it right out of the shower. So I'm gonna show you guys like how to use this thing, how I use it, and my aftercare, and then we'll get on to the makeup portion of this video. But this is just as important pre-prepping your skin as actually doing the makeup to get that flawless look to be looking snatched, you know what I mean? So you can change the levels on the side right here. I like to stay on the lower levels, but you do whatever is comfortable for you and what your skin can handle. So there is two modes. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the power button on and it is on and it is currently on the wrinkle fading and anti-aging radio frequency. You can also change that to firming and lifting depending on what you need. So there's two main modes that you can use with this device. This is the Amiro gel that I use with it. You do not have to use this gel, but you totally can if you want to get them together. This is a hydrating and moisturizing serum gel. I just put it on the top like this. I go this cheek, this cheek, and forehead. I don't do any other part of my face. That's all you really need to do. So you're just gonna go very slow. I tend to go very fast when I need to go slower. You can also go down to your jawline. you're done wash the gel off your face and also make sure you clean off your device and go ahead and turn it off and you're good you're good to go I've honestly been loving it and I'm just gonna continue to use it and see if I just continue to get really good results so this is my before and after just using it this one time and I feel like my face looks so much less puffy in the second one and just more defined also my jawline and Instagram photos recently has been looking so much more snatched my face just looks so much more defined and structured so I really do feel like this works also I've noticed my forehead line are going away slowly and they look a lot better when I put makeup on. So far this product has really been working for me so I would recommend it to you guys to go ahead and try it out. Now that I'm 27 it's kind of important to incorporate certain things like this into my routine I feel like just to stay feeling good but aging is a privilege okay. So definitely go down in my description I will have all the links and discount codes so make sure you go check it out and let's get into the rest of my makeup. So the rest of the prep that I do is I use the CeraVe Moisture cream it's a big jug and so I love getting my money's worth because a lot of facial lotions will be like not worth the money at all I feel like it's just like a tiny little thing I also like to go down to my neck this is the Capture Youth Glow Booster it's a Dior serum but it just comes with this little drop so you could be extra glowy and dewy because I have very dry skin. So I let that sit for like 10 minutes and then I'll be back to do my makeup. So we are going to start off with what I do for my face. So I do my face first. I use the Ilia Super Serum Skin Tint SPF 40 with niacinamide and squalene and hyaluronic acid. I use the color ST4 Formosa. And then I just go ahead and I buff it in with a brush, but you could definitely use your hand with a serum foundation like this, or you could use like beauty blenders I think are really good. Just gonna add a little bit more. Okay, so now that that's done, we're gonna take my tried and true Pixie Under Eye Concealer, and this is in the shade Brightening Peach. So you can get any peach concealer. If you can tell, I have pretty dark under eye circles. So I like to just kind of brighten it up before I go in with actual concealer. I 
I look so not spring vibes right now. I'm like all wearing black and it's literally April, but it's fine. Now that we are brightened up, I'm going to use the concealers that I use for my whole face and under my eyes. I use the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer and I use two colors because neither are perfect for me. So I like to use both and kind of mix them. This is light beige and this is light ivory. I just kind of get all the highlights in my face. So that's light ivory and then I take light beige. to get in there too and then I take another random brush this is my old foundation brush and that's what I use to kind of buff it in I've been doing some of these tricks since I started like literally YouTube and some of them are brand new I am going to be using the Maybelline fit me shine free balance foundation stick and it's in the color toffee and this is what I use to contour my face and because I don't want it to be too heavy I don't put it directly on my face I put it on my brush so I just have like a little random brush like this I just wipe it on the stick I like to try to go a little bit higher on my cheekbones. I used to go like really low, but I like to go a little bit higher with the bronzer and the blush. I have a pretty big forehead, so I like to contour my forehead <laughs> as much as I can, honestly. And I do my jaw. I feel like the Amiro device really does make my face look snatched in prep for my makeup. Now that I've done most of my face, I'm going to do my nose. I don't pay too much attention to this part. Go under a little bit. I think it's good to go under your nose because it kind of creates a lifted effect since my nose is like kind of straight. But then I like to take this small elf brush and this is what I use to kind of go in and like detail my nose as best as I can. So I just kind of go down the bridge to the top. I have to be very careful because I feel like it takes off my makeup. Like, I don't know how to do nose contour or nose makeup. It just looks so weird sometimes. But I do my best. I go under. Like I said, it kind of creates like a lifted effect. And then I like to create like a ball of my nose with makeup. So I go in and just kind of create a line where the highlight of my nose right here stands out. So it kind of lifts it as well. That is my tip. So I just go back in with this one and kind of soften those lines a little bit. This is Glossier Cloud Paint in the color Dusk, and I have not been using this at all, but I used this so much, and I used this when you guys would constantly ask me for my makeup tutorial. So I'm gonna show you guys this, and then we'll use my new blush. So I'm gonna go a little bit higher. I don't really know what I'm doing half the time, but like where you put your highlight normally, like put your blush. That's what I find looks really good. So like I said, I haven't been using this recently, but I'm probably gonna start using it again because it just adds such a nice warmth to my skin tone and I think I need it back in my life, so. This is NARS Liquid Blush in Orgasm. Gotta be careful, I'd say one pump is like plenty, but just go slow when you're putting it on your face. So it's like a bright pink like that. I mean, you guys know the famous NARS blush. Everyone used to have this. I used to use this in high school. I was so obsessed. Put a little bit on my nose. You don't have to use that much blush, so if you want to use less blush, you totally can. That's up to you. And then as for highlight, I have two favorites that I switch between. I have the Rare Beauty Highlight in Enchant, but I don't feel like this is a good tone for my skin, so I feel like this looks a lot better on me, which you all probably know about this. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Highlighter Face Wand in the shade, is there a shade? Spotlight, I guess? I don't know. It's just their basic one. Oh, wow. That was a lot. Okay, we're going to put some more over here. And then where we did our nose contour, I like to do it just on the ball like that. And then I like to do it on the bridge. So it kind of still creates that like lifted effect a little bit. Put my lip right here. So I use Anastasia Brow Wiz still. I feel like this is kind of dated. A lot of people like use the gel, the soap brow stuff. I tried it, but it just doesn't really work. Like it works, but you can't tell on my eyebrows. So I don't even bother. I'm just going to stick to the regular filled in eyebrow. And I do think personally it looks better on me than any kind of lifted brow I've tried. I, I don't like it on me. This is in color soft brown. We're just going to create a line under our eyebrows. Then we're going to go to the other side and do the same thing. 
And then instead of going from the top here and like blocking them in, you're gonna start like way back here. So you're just gonna pretty much like fill in the end. I do this a certain way because of my microbladed brows. I still think that this technique will look good on regular brows and not look so like drawn in and blocky. But the front doesn't look super blocky, so I like to keep it looking like that. I use e.l.f. Wow Brow, so a lot of my products are like super cheap, honestly, and they work just as good as the higher end ones. So this is Wow Brow in Neutral Brown, and I just kind of get a little bit and brush up. I brush up at the front, and I just kind of brush throughout just so it kind of looks uniform, but nothing crazy. You want to obviously focus the color of the product on the front of your brow. I'm taking Hoola Benefit Bronzer and I'm dipping my brush into it. And I'm just going to deepen up my crease, I guess. I just take a little eyeshadow brush. Literally, you can get the cheapest eyeshadow brushes. It doesn't matter. And I put it under my eye. And we're still using the bronzer. <laughs> So now we're gonna use the Benefit Cookie Highlights and we're gonna use that for our eyeshadow. Then you wanna put a little bit in the inner corner as well because it's gonna highlight your inner corner. This is my least favorite part of my makeup and it is my eyeliner. I use Physicians Formula, I believe it's waterproof liquid eyeliner and it's really good, you can get it from Target. I'm gonna need another one. Um, I've definitely been using this for quite a few months now. <laughs> Literally will never not hate that part of my makeup. Also, I usually keep chapstick on my lips to keep them nice and prep for lip stuff. Okay, so now I'm gonna take Waterline Liner and this is from the brand Essence. It's literally $3, it'll last you like years and it's the best eyeliner you'll ever use. It literally does not come off. So I do the top and the bottom waterline. Okay, now that I look at it, my eyeliner turned out kind of weird, but who cares, honestly. So I use L'Oreal Paris Telescopic. I have been using this literally my whole life. And since we're gonna do a little bit of falsies, I tend to focus it more on the front lashes because I'm gonna do end lashes, so you guys will see that in a second. But I try to focus the mascara like up here. And I will do the top and the bottom lashes. So you can use any brand eyelash you want for this. This is the House of Lashes Iconic Light, but you can use any lash, it does not matter. Use a natural lash. You use the front half of the lash to stick on the corner. You basically cut your lash in half and then you use the front half to pop on the end of your lashes. I use a black eyelash glue, this is by Kiss. This is Lash Strip Adhesive and it has like the little brush on it and I like these the best. You're gonna go ahead and brush the black glue on, let it dry for a sec, and then we're gonna stick it on the lash. So what I love that the corner strip lashes like that do for me is just kind of give me a more elongated eye instead of such a round eye and that's why I also like the eyeliner. So kind of look at your eye shape too and like maybe you look better with no waterline liner, maybe you look better with full lashes, maybe because your eyes are more almond shape, whatever the case may be, do your makeup to kind of fit your face and I feel like this is like my makeup look that's like... I love this. Like, I'm gonna look good in pictures, I'm gonna look good in person. I love this makeup look. The lip liner that I'm gonna be using today with this look is Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. When I originally got this, I didn't think it was gonna be bold like that, and it might just be my lips and my skin tone. So I feel like people will wear it and it looks more subtle. Um, so I don't really know, but Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Lip Liner. I do not overline or anything. I just have pretty big lips that I don't plan on getting refilled anytime soon. Most of the other lip liners that I use are not this bold. I like to go more subtle, but today, since we are gonna be taking an Instapic and stuff, might as well, right? 
that is the final makeup tutorial that is literally everything i do to achieve this look you can wear this out at night you can wear this in the day you can wear this to festivals like i feel like this is a pretty good base look if you want to look a little extra but not too extra so um i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial i'm gonna go curl my hair i'm gonna put on my dress and i'll show you guys like a more final look i hope you guys loved it and got some inspiration on what to use and little tips that i do and if you guys want to see a more natural makeup tutorial i can totally show you guys that so just let me know by leaving a comment or leaving a like on this video and i will do more makeup tutorials like this don't forget to subscribe to me and click the button down below follow me on instagram and twitter i'm very active on those places and i will leave my links in the comments down below and such so you guys can follow me elsewhere don't forget to go down in my description and check out the amiro anti-aging and skin tightening device i'll also have the link as my pinned comment and you can use my code olivia to save money